Welcome to Philips. We are taking a look at our design sale, which will take place on Thursday the 12th of November. I'd like to start with this desk by Atelier Van Lieselt. This is an early piece from 1992. It's signed and dated in the drawer. We have here a rare Ceramica di Lava by Ettore Sozzas and a beautiful rare light by Gino Sarfatti, founder of Arte Luce. We carry on here with a rare table from the Rai headquarters, uh, manufactured by Giordano Chiesa, designed by Ponti. This dressing table is a very important piece by Ponti. What's wonderful about this piece is the angle at which the legs meet the top. There's also this chromatic element, which is very typical of that period. And it comes with this super leggera chair, which has this wonderful cane, which is gilded. Here we have another masterpiece by Ponti. Possibly, this is the most representative piece of Ponti post-war design. This is an incredibly sophisticated object. It's a collector piece. Here we have a set of 12 chairs by Wagner. These are very early, all original, and they have a wonderful provenance. Two wall lights by Carlo Scarpa in Corroso glass. Here we have a light by Jacques Adnet. It's the first one to start incorporating metal and light bulbs in his design. And the fact that he chooses this contrasting kind of a finish of silvered metal adds another layer of luxury to his approach to design. Here we have a console by Lucio Fontana and Osvaldo Borsani. It coincides with the moment when they express their desire or their interest in forms of spatialism. We have here a pair of, of unique uh, armchairs by BBPR. These are wonderful because apart from the craftsmanship, there is also some kind of details that are very much uh, part of the language of BBPR. We have here a pair of armchairs by Renzo Zavanella. Here we have a vase by Carlo Scarpa. The way the edge is finished and the form is highly sophisticated. Here we have a table by Beverly Pepper, passed away last year, sadly. Her concern was about rebuilding the link between art and the living world. She calls it connective art. The auction will be on the 12th of November. It will be live and online, and we look forward to see you then.